Yeah, Air and Space Museum. Honestly, I'm pretty tired right now. My legs are killing me. I don't really have the brain capacity to read information about all these planes. And as you can see, it's pretty popular. Oh, it's the Red Baron's plane. Didn't like Snoopy had to fight the Red Baron at times? I fly like I forget high like planes. Planes for days. <laughs> and you pretend that they're in the night sky like shooting stars. <laughs> I guess museums can be for kids. A little bit for everyone. Everything. Kids are like the spectacles. Adults like the information and knowledge. Hmm. More planes. <laughs> War planes. Maybe one of the most interesting things I've seen here so far. The motto of the aircraft carrier called the USS Enterprise. <laughs> you thought planes were big and heavy. Some models of the earlier planes. Yeah, so it's like Wright Rose and Kitty Hawk over again. Yeah, I mean, this museum is so big but so specific. It's airplanes, you know? Aviation, not for me. I'll get motion sickness. And I'd be too close to death, too close for comfort. It's the Air and Space Museum, and now I'm at the space aspect. Call me a spaceman. Too bad they're not sending anyone else to space anymore. Well, they're sending to space, just not the moon. So, there goes my dreams of being an astronaut. <laughs> just kidding. Rockets are way too big to take a picture of. Rockets, just like the W and W and Blaster Jack song. <laughs> I think I like this part of the exhibit more. A lot more calmer, just pictures of the moon. Not so much kids, not so much random planes that you have to read and learn about. That's the thing about museums. Well, that's, no, that's the thing about school. School is just museums that you have to learn and memorize and get tested on. <laughs> museums are more of displays. School has to be, well, it should be applicable, right? The knowledge from school. But honestly, when am I going to use the quadratic equation or integrals or the SN2 backside attack in real life? One of the better sections of the museum so far. What about what space is, how far it is, what it takes to get into space, life in space, first space shuttle designs, a nice rocket. How things fly. How do they stay aerodynamic? The only aerodynamic I care about is that one Daft Punk song. Wow, this section is surprisingly colorful. They're really dumbing it down for us. It's like physics are over again. If I liked physics, maybe I would have liked um, flying stuff more. I don't know how to cut. Aviation, space. This looks 
fun and interactive. And we'll end with the gift shop. Lots of toys, souvenirs, trinkets, mostly for the kids. Honestly, I think if I went to this museum during my adolescence, perhaps my interest and career path trajectory may have turned out a bit different. But you'll never know. In fact, I'm in too deep now with my field. And as I am in too deep with my shot glass collection. I should have collected magnets. At least you put them on the fridge for everyone to see. But once you get like 20, 30 of these, it's too late.